Hey, what's going on everybody? I apologize for the microphone quality. I have a bad mic because I have an ancient PC and as you can see that is my headset which I use to record. Anyways, let's get to the video. Steam Machine 2.0 Why it can be successful this time. What is a Steam Machine? A small form factor gaming PC. What are the goals of the Steam Machine? Affordable, so affordability, affordability has to, the cost has to be uh, fair. Plug and play can be used in the, in the living room and it is mainly targeted for the average consumer, the average gamer, um, you know, the, the the people that come back from work, um, they want to just do some couch gaming, you know, casual gaming on the couch and just turn it off and go go to eat, go to sleep, and things like that. So, or the people that come back from the students that come back from school, they want to do some gaming. Um, sit down on the couch, do some couch gaming, and I included a picture of uh, Paul. As you can see, he is sitting on the couch. He has his cute doggo sleeping on the couch as well, and he's playing. Um, I think that is uh, the Corsair Torrent or Turret or Razer, maybe. I think it's Razer. That keyboard and mouse. Um, setup right there that he's using and he's gaming on on his couch in his living room so yeah Paul thank you I used your picture thumbnail from YouTube so why did the steam machines fail reliant on third-party hardware vendors alright way too many of them launched there was one from Alienware um, cyber PC I buy power. There were so many, so many steam machines. And there were mainly just cash grabs because they were just riding the wave, riding the hype of Valve steam machines. And uh, that was one of the reasons why they failed. Extremely overpriced for the hardware that you got. All right. And the prices made no sense. Uh, the, the prices varied from lower 500s to upper 1500 plus. It, m it made absolutely no sense. And um, lacking Linux compa compatibil compatibility. Alright, they lacked Linux compatibility. So, why will it work now? Steam machines can be sold by Valve similar to Steam Deck. All right. Gamers can buy them directly from Valve slash on Steam just like the Steam Deck. All right. Valve has significant in-house capability to design and manufacture hardware with custom silicon. All right. So Steam OS experience is more polished and it keeps getting better. All right, massively overhauled the BPM, which is big picture mode. Um, advancements in Proton compat compatibility layer that lets most gamers run on Linux. And it just makes sense now. Here are some of my ideas. Partner with Intel. I know. I know what you guys are thinking. AMD. That's what you guys are thinking. And some of you are like, oh, AMD and NVIDIA. But I think Intel would give uh, Valve a better price than AMD or NVIDIA. That's just what I think. CPU use Intel Core 
uh, CPUs. For the GPUs, graphics cards use Intel Arc graphics cards. Similar, like, you know, Battle Mage is coming, and then you have Celestial and Jude. I think Intel, that's why there was rumors this week that Microsoft is in talks with Intel for their next Xbox. And the rumors are that Intel is offering Microsoft a better price. So I think Intel would offer Valve a better price on hardware. So uh, to, I put there two NVMe expansion slots. I don't know why I put that there, but um, an offer, not so many SKUs and not so many um, products, but just offer two affordable SKUs. The first SKU is aimed at 10, uh, 1080p, 60fps, and the second SKU, 1440p, 60fps. And optional allows gamers to um, get like accessories like keyboard and mouse bundle and other gaming P uh, PC gaming accessories. Also, developers can optimize for the Steam machines and have Steam machine verified tag on Steam store on the Steam store on um, you know uh, game pages similar to Steam Deck verified. So who knows? Maybe Valve will, will change that in the future and make it Steam OS verified. Also, launch it with Half Life Three, Portal Three, Team Fortress Three, Dota Three and so on. I'm just joking about that last part, but we all hope, right? So the challenge is just because the Steam Deck is a success, it doesn't mean a standalone PC gaming console for the living room would be. It's a harder sell most people who bought Steam Decks already own at least one console and or PC. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And once again, I really apologize for uh, the audio quality of my microphone. That is what I'm working with. If you want to assist me, into getting better hardware there's a link in the description so let me know what you guys think should valve go back to the drawing boards have a seat at the big round table and brainstorm bringing back steam machines of course it's not going to be called steam machines it might be called something else steam box or whatever but I love hardware I love PC gaming and I would love for Valve to release a PC for the living room of course it doesn't need to be only used in the living room you can use it in the living room but for the average consumers you know because I think everybody should have um, to enjoy p affordable PC gaming they don't have to because I've spoken to many console gamers out there and I always ask them do you have a gaming PC do you have a do you game on PC and they always tell me no I have a laptop you know it's not that good it's not that powerful and PC gaming is just really expensive to you know to buy a PC game and I always tell them it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be expensive. You can put together um, a, like a $600 PC, but then they start talking about, oh, what about the monitor and the keyboard and mouse and everything? You know, so make PC gaming great again. Make PC gaming affordable again. And make PC gaming fun again. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, a big shot is just a little shot that kept on shooting. Take care, everyone. Peace.